Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot second since I have posted on YouTube, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back and strong. So I'm gonna give you five, one, two, three, yes. I'm gonna give you five recipes that you can bring to any potluck, any time you have to go to a party and bring a dish. Maybe you're a good cook, maybe you're not. You are going to be able to make these dishes. I'm gonna give you a how-to, it's gonna be quick but I'm gonna give you tips along the way on what I learned when I cooked these dishes and how you can improve them, make them even better, or something that maybe would have been missing in the video. So just stay with me. So let's see what's on the menu today. We've got hot onion dip, bacon cheeseburger sliders, buffalo chicken sliders, caramel apple cobbler, and potato pancetta side dish. If you've got a party to go to, you've got anything you need to do for this holiday season or any party, these dishes are so easy and delicious and I promise you, crowd pleaser. People are gonna all, your dish is gonna be gone first. Boom. Let's start with number one. The first one is hot onion dip. It's so easy. Here's the thing. Two plus two plus two equals hot onion dip. That's all you need to remember. Two cups of chopped sweet onion, okay? Two cups of Swiss cheese grated. Just get an old school grater. Grate the cheese, it makes all the difference. Do not buy it in the package, it's not gonna be as good. And then you're not gonna have the best dish at the party. If you want the best dish at the party, you need to do what I'm telling you, grate the cheese. And, um, da da da, Hellman's mayo. Now, if you guys have used a different mayo, now everyone on my TikTok always is like, Dukes, Dukes, Dukes. I've never even had Dukes, I don't, I live in Florida. What kind of like, what is your favorite mayo? Let me know in the comments. Um, I've never tried Duke's. Let me know what I'm missing, okay? I don't know, but all I know is Hellman's is beautiful. Okay, last thing. It might get a teeny tiny bit, a little bit like grease at the top. It's not a big deal. Blot it with a paper towel. Roll it, here it comes. Three ingredients and we're gonna have show-stopping hot onion dip. Chop one sweet onion, chop it small. Two cups, boom. Hellman's, two cups, add it. A block of Swiss cheese, great two cups worth. Get your workout in. Boom, pepper, salt, mix. Boom, get it in there, make it nice. Bake 25 to 30 minutes at 350 until it's gold and bubbly. French bread. Slice it, toast it to dip it. Boom. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this. Butter your bread. Broil. Scoop. Okay. You guys are gonna freak out, it's so good. Okay, next up is bacon cheeseburger sliders. So delicious. And here are some tips before I roll the tape. When you're making these sliders, everyone always asks me, Melissa, you use a whole stick of butter. Is it gonna be soggy? No, it's not gonna be soggy. Because A, when you make your sliders, you have your bottom bun, then you have the cheese first. Cheese first, that's gonna protect your bread. Then layer everything else, and you'll see how to do that in the video. And then get the stick of butter, pour it all over. It's gonna be delicious. If you're very paranoid about it, then, you know, use a half a stick of butter, but use the butter and get it on there good. It's gonna just make it so much better. Then another question I get is the onions. Do you have to saute the onions first? I mean, you can, but you don't need to. And it actually tastes really good when you don't. So go ahead and just chop up your onions real small and get them on there. Another thing about keeping them so, they're, so they don't get soggy is take them right out of the Pyrex when you're done baking them. Don't let them just sit in there. Pull them out and put them on a rack and so good. When you make your bacon cheeseburger sliders, be sure you're not getting the bread and butter. Is it called bread and butter pickles? Those are sweet. Get the dill pickles not the bread and butter, it's not gonna be as good. There's some seeds I put on it, it's hard to see in the video. They're tri-color sesame seeds and I just get them in the seasoning section. You can get poppy seeds too, whatever you want, it's gonna work, or no seeds, whatever you wanna do. Watch the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Bacon cheeseburger sliders today. About two pounds of ground meat, buy this. Just a couple shakes, pepper, garlic, shake, shake, mix, boom. Press the meat into a Pyrex, like that. Bake at 350 for 20 minutes. Now fry some bacon to the party. Flip. Buy this. Slice it with a big knife. Boom. Let's cut them into bacon bits. Boom. Done. Drain it. Place it. Spray Pyrex. Now we layer. Bottom. Munster. 
Boom. Place the meat, cheddar, like that. Quarter of an onion, boom. Sprinkle, bacon, sprinkle. Dill pickle chips. Top it, melt a stick. This goes in the butter. Pour it all over. 15 minutes at 350. Done. Mm. So the next recipe is the buffalo chicken slider. These are the two sauces that I used. This is amazing. Sweet Baby Ray's creamy buffalo dip. This is it. And Frank's Red Hot. And of course, get the wing one. The only thing I would do different is the way I did it in the um, video was I boiled the chicken and then I cut it up. But now I have since learned the best way to shred your chicken. And I learned it through TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I learn stuff. You learn stuff. Oops, the best. Just take a blender. Your boiled chicken, when you take it out of the pot nice and hot, blend it with your hand mixer. I'm telling you, it works. It's unbelievable. And it makes the most perfect shredded chicken. So that's the only thing I would do different that I have learned since then. When you are boiling chicken, the trick to boiling chicken is put the chicken in the water while it's cold so it you know boils all at the same time and get like the nice fat chicken breast because you're gonna shred it, it doesn't matter. Don't, get the th don't waste money on the thin tenderloin. To boil it very high at like three minutes, like boil on the highest you can and then lower it a little bit and kind of like, like a low boil, a low boil until it's done. Just check it, it doesn't really take that long and you can poke it and check, it doesn't matter, you're shredding it. So just make sure it's done and then take it out. Let's go. And then it's nice and juicy. So roll it. We're making buffalo chicken sliders. Two chicken breasts, boil for three minutes, and then simmer until they're juicy. Pam your Pyrex. Get your Hawaiian rolls, slice them through. Boom. Bottom, set tops aside. Palio mozzarella. Shred it all over the bottoms. Boom. Shred it up like that. Chicken goes in the bowl. Buy this and this. Get it in there. Some of the Franks. Mix it in. Boom. Now we layer. Get the chicken on. It smells so good. My kids like ranch, so I'm just spooning a little bit on there. To the party. A little crumbled blue cheese. I'm just gonna do half for me. <laughs> Top layer. Get your butter. Melt. Pour a few drops of Franks in there. Pepper and a little garlic powder. Mix it up. Okay, you know what time it is. Get it on there. Bake at 350, half the time covered, half the time uncovered, um, 20 minutes. All done, you guys. If you are responsible for dessert, I'm gonna show you a caramel apple cobbler that will knock your socks off, okay? It's amazing. You just need the, I like the country apple pie filling, the regular Comstock pie filling. Any caramel sauce you want, just go to that little aisle by the ice cream section, they have the caramel that you could heat up and pour over your ice cream, same thing. I just use Smucker's. Yellow cake mix, just a box, and butter. That's all. Just one thing to remember too, make sure you let it set. All dishes have to set, just remember that. So don't just dig in right away. Cook it, let it set for like a half hour, let all the flavors come together and here it comes. Four and a half ingredients and we're gonna have caramel apple cobbler. Grease a Pyrex. Two cans of apple pie filling. Get them nice and even. Sprinkle a little cinnamon over the top. Heat up some caramel sauce. Now drizzle some over the apples like that. Now mix it in a little like that. Get some cake mix. Okay, we're gonna get it all over. Okay, even it out a little bit. About a stick and a half of butter. Okay, we're gonna get it all over. Boom. Have any dry spots? Just put a little pat of butter over it. About 30, 35 minutes at 3.50. My gosh, you guys, it smells so good. When it looks like this, it's done. Let her cool and set up. Half to try this. And finally, we're gonna get a little fancy here. We're gonna make potatoes pancetta. And here's what I want you to know. If you're responsible for a side dish, bring this, okay? It is so beautiful and gorgeous and everyone is gonna go crazy. Listen carefully to how I tell you to bake it. Just russet potatoes, peel them, cut them into wedges and fresh oregano. Do not use oregano that's not fresh, okay? It's not gonna be as good. You have to use the fresh oregano and it is so simple yet so good, you'll see, okay? Here it comes. Let's make this delicious potato pancetta side dish.
for today. I'm gonna leave the ingredients in the, in the description box. If you have any questions about any of the recipes, go ahead and put it in the comments and I will respond back. And thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed. And if you haven't, subscribe. And I will be posting more videos. Have a great day.